And now we'd like to pay tribute to the late, great Jimmy Lennon Sr. Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us again out here on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. Uh, one thing I want to do real quick here is, is bring up a little tribute. Uh, the boxing world recently lost one of its great uh, ring announcers. The great Jimmy Lennon Sr. passed away at the age of 79. Uh, he passed away in Santa Monica, California after a lengthy illness, and we'll really miss him. Uh, Jimmy Lennon Sr. was born in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, and uh, he was born James Frederick Lennon, and he was uh, the uncle to the famous uh, Lennon Sisters singing group. Is, uh, the whole Lennon family is very musically talented. But uh, Jimmy Lennon will be missed. He'll be missed especially by myself. Uh, I remember growing up in the Los Angeles area and seeing Jimmy Lennon in action at the, uh, at the Olympic Auditorium. He used to announce the boxing as well as wrestling matches. He was always a, a great part of the scene there in the boxing world. Uh, he was very colorful, almost a, uh, almost a musical tone to the way he would introduce fighters. Uh, he had the Spanish pronunciation down. He was just a joy to watch, and I, I was really sad to hear that he passed away. But uh, he, he's one of the greats, and uh, I'd like to show you just uh, a little bit. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Jimmy Lennon, but let's take a look at Jimmy Lennon in, in action now so you can remember him as he was. Yeah, can I do that? Ladies and gentlemen at ringside, featured in Stroh's Legends of Boxing, the souvenir mug for the evening, one of Southern California's greatest boxing attractions for many, many years, here is golden boy, Art Aragon. And it is my pleasure to present to you, he's here at ringside still, very busy in boxing, a former great lightweight champion of the world from 1945 to 1951. He had 153 professional bouts, former lightweight boxing champion of the world, the great Ike Williams. So there you see Jimmy Lennon Sr., uh, one of the great ring announcers of all time. And I'd like to uh, show you uh, uh, one thing that happened. Uh, I was at the, uh, the Great Western Forum in Los Angeles uh, for a boxing show, and Alvin Too Sweet Hayes uh, came into the ring to face Yogi Bang and Buchanan, and Jimmy Lennon was trying to introduce these men in a serious way, but uh, Alvin Hayes is kind of, a, kind of a character, I think you'd say, and he, he came bouncing into the ring to the sound of Michael Jackson dancing around, uh, trying to do the moonwalk and making weird faces. And Jimmy Lennon just couldn't keep a straight face. I'll never forget it. I was there. And uh, let's t take a look at that for you and, and see Jimmy Lennon trying to keep his face straight as Alvin Too Sweet Hayes puts on his clown act here. Here's Jimmy Lennon. Check this out. Got his uh, fight face on. You've heard of the game face? Hayes has got the fight face on. The senior Jimmy Lennon is in the center of the ring. And let's go to Jimmy Lennon now. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. At ringside tonight, the gentleman, great crowd pleaser of boxing for many, many years. He's at ringside and he's featured in Stroh's Legends of Boxing Souvenir Mug. Ladies and gentlemen at ringside, featured in Stroh's Legends of Boxing, the souvenir... So there you see Jimmy Lennon uh, trying to do his best to keep a straight face, the great professional he was, but he, he was no match for uh, Alvin Hayes that night. But, uh, you know, even though we've lost Jimmy Lennon Sr., uh, he left us with something great, and that is his son, Jimmy Lennon Jr. And I'm sure you're familiar with Jimmy Lennon Jr. He looks and sounds exactly like his father, Jimmy Lennon. And uh, Jimmy Lennon Jr. is possibly going to be even a greater ring announcer than, uh, than his father, which is hard to imagine, but he's well on his way. He's, he's one of the greats uh, patterning his style right after his dad, 
And uh, let's take a look at Jimmy Lennon uh, Jr. in action here, and you'll see the, the similarity between the two. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. now. Tonight, lightweights in the ring, 10 rounds of boxing in a non-title bout. Introducing to you on my right, he's fighting out of the red corner, wearing a blue trunks with white trim. Hailing from Berkeley, Missouri, he's now fighting out of the great city of St. Louis. He weighs in tonight 139 pounds. His record, 19 wins, five losses, one draw. He has 12 wins by way of knockout. He is the former, he is the forum lightweight champion, ranked number 22 by the WBC, introducing the very colorful Yogi Bingen Buchanan. the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with red trim, hailing from Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighs in tonight 140 pounds. His outstanding undefeated record is 59 wins, no losses, 50 big wins by way of out. He is the current World Boxing Association lightweight champion of the world, presentando el gran campeón mexicano, Julio Cesar Chavez. So there you see the similarities between uh, the two, the father and son team of Jimmy Lennon Jr. and Jimmy Lennon Sr. And let's take a quick look now. Uh, they honored Jimmy Lennon's memory at the uh, Meldrick Taylor Terry Norris World Championship fight, which was carried on HBO. And let's take a look now and, and remember one last time as we told the 10 count for the great Jimmy Lennon Sr. All right. Go up the ring announcer Michael Buffer for the pre fight introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, just recently, a member of the boxing fraternity passed away. He was a man of great dignity and charisma as he plied his trade in the very center of the ring. He was a ring announcer who brought showmanship into the ring as he was well known as a big band singer. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would everyone please remain silent as we told the final count of 10 for the man known as the voice of boxing for 40 years, Mr. Jimmy Lennon. God bless you, Jimmy. And now it's time for the next.